I have some questions and concerns. So a few days ago, a viewer made me aware of this V-Copter Falcon by a company called Zero Zero Robotics. It's set to release in February of 2020. And keep that date in mind as we talk about this. So I went out to the website and due to the unique design and the advertised flight time of 50 minutes, I was very interested in this drone. So interested that I paid the $100 deposit to get the drone for $699 versus the $999 that it'll be when it's released. I did use PayPal and I recommend that you do too. <laughs> so if you know anything about Kickstarter, that sounds like a Kickstarter campaign, does it not? Okay, so I was already familiar with the company, Zero Zero Robotics, because I remember them releasing their first uh, hover drone. I actually remember Casey Neistat did a video on it. I've never been a huge fan of those kind of drones, but from what I've seen of it, it's all right. A 4K selfie drone with shaky footage with no controller. I also thought it was a little overpriced when it was released. But it's a drone company that has taken a product from conception to production to market. So I'm not gonna go so far as to call this a scam because there really isn't any evidence of that at this point. I do wanna be fair in that respect. If it is, it's gonna get called out. Okay, enough about that. Now here's where I have some questions and concerns. Zero Zero Robotics launched a Kickstarter campaign for their second version of the Hover Passport called the Hover 2. As of December 19th, 2019, they have 1,828 backers that pledged a little over a million dollars. It's supposed to be a huge improvement over the original Hover with obstacle avoidance and a two axis gimbal with EIS. The problem is the drone was supposed to ship in March 2019, but due to delays, it looks like they just started shipping drones to backers in December 2019. Now we've seen delays in products before, the Mavic 2 series comes to mind, and most recently the SkyDO 2. So this is to be expected to a degree, but nine months is too long, man. That's, that's just too long. <laughs> now reading through the comments from backers on the Kickstarter page gives you an idea about how antsy folks were getting. Some were canceling, but many others are just irritated but seem like they're still excited that the Hover 2 is finally shipping. I actually found one unboxing video from one of the comments and it appears that the drone has actually started shipping. No flight test yet, just the unboxing. One unboxing. <laughs> now here's what kind of bugs me. How could they announce another new drone before they even shipped out a Kickstarter funded drone? It seems like the V-Copter Falcon was announced on the same day that the Hover 2 started to ship. That just makes me very curious about how funds were being used and why there was such a long delay. I don't know, it's obviously speculation on my part, but since I'm invested in this now, I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on it and sharing what I find out with you. Now, it looks like Zero Zero was providing regular updates and so forth, but a nine month delay? Was it software related problems or something else? Any Hover 2 backers out there that can chime in on this subject? please do so down in the comments. Have you received your drone yet? Did you cancel your order? Where are things at for you? Did Zero Zero handle this well? As far as the V-Copter Falcon goes, I did reach out to Zero Zero about whether the $100 deposit is refundable and they said yes. I also asked them to add that to the product listing. So put it in some writing. <laughs> Will there be similar delays with the V-Copter Falcon? Nine months from February 2020 puts that out to November 2020. Nah, man, I'm not down with that. So I'll keep you posted on how things progress from here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to keep up with my experience with this drone and other drones and gadgets. And don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll know when I upload new videos. All right then, as always, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later.